Hi, welcome to Healthy Lifestyle with Geraldo, a show dedicated to helping you live a longer and healthier life while giving you the inside scoop on all of the latest fitness, health, and lifestyle trends. And of course, having fun while doing it. Today, one of my favorite co-hosts is back. She is a friend to the show, the dish girl herself, Dina Delisa Gonzar. Hi, Dina. Hi. How are you? I'm feeling good. I'm How's good. the baby doing? <laughs> good, but it's not a he, it's a she. I now. know. You know what? I went out and bought my wife bought a gift. Oh, it was a, for a boy, and now we gotta return the whole thing. The only one. <laughs> You're not the only one. We bought a crib. My mom bought like the first suit, got oh real excited. Oh my god how to return some things, oh but it's boy. all good. It's We're all healthy good, right? and happy, so. And, and Disha Girl, everything yeah. good with that? Yeah, everything's really good with Disha Girl. I'm still moving forward with lots of great recipes, working with some Beautiful. great brands, so really excited. Excellent, good. Yeah. Okay, great, all right, let's go ahead. Let's get right to it. Uh, for anyone who has ever purchased at home, you know it's no easy feat, but there are so many factors to keep in mind, and one very important one is lifestyle. Founder of Very Real Estate, Elizabeth Conberry, is here with some great advice on choosing the best home to fit your lifestyle needs. Welcome, Elizabeth. Welcome, Thank you. Elizabeth. It's very nice to see oh, you guys. So great to have you. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Absolutely. So tell us, how does lifestyle fit into buying a home? Lifestyle to me should be the main factor in buying a home. Really? Outside of your office or where you work, you're uh -huh. spending the majority of your time in your home and you want to make sure that you're buying a property mm -hmm. that really mm -hmm. fits your lifestyle. So if you love to cook, the right. kitchen should be really central to the purchase. You know, if you like natural light, why would you ever buy mm -hmm. a home that, you know, is very dark? That's so, true. Now, what are true. some of the key factors you got to keep in mind if you're a first time home buyer? Absolutely. I mean, if you're a first time home buyer, I think the first step is to engage a real estate agent. Mm -hmm. And many people don't know this, but engaging a real estate agent as a buyer is actually free for the buyer. So the hmm. first step to find a great agent is to ask the people that you know and trust who they've used, who they know and trust when they bought a home. Okay. After that, really leverage the relationship that you have with your real estate agent. Let them be the ones to help you find a mortgage lender. Mm -hmm. Most people are buying with a mortgage. Right. Um, and so that way you understand exactly how much money you can afford uh, okay. when you're purchasing a house. And then the final step is really to understand how your lifestyle impacts your home. So right. create a list of your must-haves and your like-to-haves and be able to communicate that throughout the search. Mm. So what do you think is the most lifestyle-driven choice that influenced selecting a home for a client? So I've worked with many clients. Um, I primarily work with buyers. It's right. a side of the business mm -hmm. that I really enjoy and a, a story that really stands out to me. I was working with an empty nester couple and they had sold their big house in the suburbs and they were moving into Center City and they were currently renting in the city to figure out which neighborhood they wanted okay. to live in. Mm -hmm. And I sat down with a wife and I said, tell me a little bit about yourself, tell me what you do in your home, is there any kind of pieces of furniture that are important to you, et cetera, et cetera. And right. she said, wow. Elizabeth, I will give up everything to move into the city. I'm downsizing my life. Wow. However, I will not give up my baby grand piano. Because oh my God, oh, I, big I, I exactly. love I'm a piano player, and so because I love to her, that, yes. you know, playing music in her home was really a lifestyle choice that was terribly important to her. So mm -hmm. I work primarily in Center City, so you can imagine okay. the challenges of purchasing a home that was both wide enough and deep enough to fit a baby grand piano. And, and I would- have to bring it to the front of the building, right? Or yeah. something- I learned quite a few things about this, Geraldo. Apparently, <laughs> they just take the legs off, turn it on its side, and- And, and they carry it upstairs? Bring it into the oh home. Oh my God. Yeah, That's so kind of like your real estate breaking. counselor. Yes, there. absolutely. <laughs> so we found her home. It was a bit of an extensive search. And I, I remember going into properties and I'd call her uh -huh. and I'd say, look, you can have the piano, but you can't have a couch in this one. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> but we did end up finding a property that was just perfect. It had a mezzanine uh -huh. level where the baby grand not only had a home but she had a music room. Wow. So it was very it rare. It worked out for her, right? Well, Any regrets yeah. people buying a home and they're like, oh my God, I can't believe I made such a terrible choice. Uh, I'm sure you've heard. Yes, <laughs> I have. Right? I have actually. So I've um, met some friends who have relocated to an area and right. they bought before they really knew the area. Mm. So I oh. always advise people if you're new to a city or yeah. you're new to a neighborhood, rent for a year mm -hmm. if you can kind of stomach renting versus right. owning a lot of people think you're throwing away money but really look at it as a decision for your life you know get a you feel, for, get a feel for, for the right. neighborhood right. figure out really where you'd like to live and then engage a real estate agent to find the right property and mm. so does it also matter how long you would stay in a particular home do you have to think about 
how long you would be somewhere? You do, Dina, absolutely. Uh, if you think about how long you're planning to be in a home, let's say it's five years and right. you're a newly married couple, mm -hmm. um, you have to think, okay, in the next five years, are we planning to have children? Right. You know, how are li or your lifestyle will invariably change. So mm -hmm. you want to make sure that uh, the property that you buy, you're not outgrowing after right. a year or two of living yeah. there. Right. And do, does the school system make yeah, a big, uh, a I mean, that schools. was obviously has to be one of the top mm -hmm. questions. Right? It does. You know, if you're planning to, you know, raise children in this home, you uh -huh. absolutely are considering, uh, it's one of, probably one of your, um, you know, non-negotiables, if mm -hmm. you will, as to where you'd like to live to make sure that the school mm -hmm. district is perfect for your family and for raising right. your child there. So, I mean, you've helped so many people along the way, mm -hmm. but what is your choice of a perfect home for you. Araldo, I'd like to think that I'm not picky, but I'd probably I'm be picky. lying Why not? You <laughs> have to be picky. I mean, when yeah, it comes to a home, you've got to be picky, right? <laughs> so for me, it's really important. Uh, my lifestyle, I love to entertain in my home. So it's important for me that I have a home that has an open concept, where I right. can have a dining room table, I can host parties for, you know, six to 12 people, you know, yes. depending on the holidays mm -hmm. or, or what you're doing. Yeah. Um, and I, I got have the privilege of yeah, <laughs> walking to work. So yeah. I'm, I'm always thinking, well, where? close to the office might I want to live. So <laughs> those are decisions that are kind of driving my decision. If wow, I ever that's that. great. That's great advice, yeah, Elizabeth. Thank, thank you so thank much you. for being on the show. I think our audience got a good idea mm -hmm. what to do thank for our home. Thank you for having me. All right, great. Okay, guys, still to come, a heartbreak story with a happy ending. Ahead, find out how Revenge Bodies Will on Tevero dropped 40 pounds. His inspirational story is next when Healthy Lifestyle returns in just a moment.